Welcome to Battle Blogs, a show where I take a look at the sport of robotic combat, particularly the BattleBots brand. And we are now on night four of the 2022 Champions Tournament Special. First off, we had Big Dill versus Bloodsport. Big Dill, another lifting sumo like bot, did the best they could, but Bloodsport was just too devastating with its spinning bar disc whatever they decide to load up with this time it's customizable just for you and blood spark moved on blade versus kraken now the korean bot blade actually impressed me in this one as we saw a win against the sea against the mighty crushing sea beast kraken and after this loss, the builder of builder and driver of Kraken decided it was time to retire the bot and build something new. Next up, we had a team of scientists turned beach bros piloting their uh, lifting bot deadlift against a blacksmith piloting a robot named Blacksmith. They had a little bit of back and forth, but for the most part, Blacksmith won this handily with his mighty flaming hammer. Next, we had Switchback versus Lucky. Now, Switchback is a weird design and didn't really do very well in the last tournament. But Lucky proved to be unlucky as Switchback actually achieved a win and moved on to the next round. That victory was short-lived, however, because when Switchback went up against Blacksmith in the next round, Blacksmith proved its veteran skills and possibly superior design by handing the plucky weirdo another custom-made win or loss, handed the loss. Next, we had Blade versus Bloodsport. Now, Blade did a good job actually showing that it could beat a bot, but Bloodsport has had a more powerful blade, faster spinning, all these other nice features, and it just it ripped Blade apart and probably brought dishonor against the Koreans, perhaps, uh, or something like that. But this leads up to Blacksmith versus Bloodsport. It was a good fight, but Blacksmith was ultimately defeated, and Bloodsport moved on to face the Gatekeeper, Scorpios. For the first time in this series, the Gatekeeper was successful, and Scorpios will be moving on to the field of eight competitors at the end of the series. Oh no, I guess it was okay. A lot of, uh slightly weaker field than normal, but I, I think they're still worthy. And a worthy competitor has been added to the tournament. Scorpios has a lot of history, especially with some of the other ones that are in this championship tournament, so I'm going to I'm going to eagerly look forward to what we have for that final episode that is vastly approaching. Only one episode left before the actual championship tournament, though. And, and I can't wait. But I'm going to have to wait. So until we get any information on that, it's robot fighting time.